يا ايها الذين امنوا كتب عليكم الصيام كما كتب على الذين من قبلكم لعلكم تتقون السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن وله أما بعد قال رب شرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل الأقطة من لساني يفقه قولي اللهم زدنا علما All praise and thanks is due to Allah عز وجل Peace and salutations upon Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم His family, his friends and upon all those who try to emulate him until the end of time. Ahlan wa sahlan wa marhaban. We welcome each and every one of you to day number 17. And as we know, the month of Ramadan, we are basically downhill. And in the next few days, we are preparing ourselves for the last 10 nights of this month of Ramadan. And in today's session, we will be looking at something very important as many people they tend to pay the zakah or distribute the zakah zakatul mal the zakah of the monies etc during the month of ramadan so what does this word zakah mean zakah in the arabic language it means growth blessings and purification with regards to the shari'i definition the word zakah in the sharia means Worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by giving that which he has enjoined of different kinds of zakah to those who are entitled to them according to the guidelines prescribed in the sharia. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he mentions in the Quran and he says وَأَقِيمُ الصَّلَاةِ وَآتُ الزَّكَةِ and establish the prayer wa'atu zakah and you need to pay your zakah the prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam he mentions and he says that zakah is built or afwan islam is built on five bunyal islam ala khams that islam is built on five things the first thing shahadatu allah ilaha illallah to be a testimony that none has the right to be worshipped except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that Muhammad peace be upon him is the messenger of Allah and then the Prophet peace be upon him said to establish salah and then the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he said and to give your zakah so zakah is to be paid on money that stood for one year, one lunar year, yani a hijri year, and it reached the hawl, which is one year, and you have the nisab. So every single year when it's time to pay your zakah, you will obviously need to check what is the nisab for this year. So I have, for example, 100,000 rand, and the nisab is hypothetically speaking 10,000 rand so I have to pay zakah so 2.5 percent of that 100,000 rand that stood for the year and this is my zakah that I will have to pay so now the next thing that I would like to look at would like to explain is who must get zakah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala informs us in the Quran in Surah Tawbah. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he says, Innama as-sadaqatu lil fuqara'i wal masakin wal amilina alayha wal mu'allafati kulubuhum wa fi al-riqabi wal gharimina wa fi sabilillah wa bin al-sabil faridat min Allah wallahu alimun hakim. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he says, Innama as-sadaqat that indeed zakah that they are only for the fuqara for those that are poor and the masakin and those that are employed to collect the funds meaning those that are working with the zakah and to attract the hearts of those who have been inclined towards islam 
and to free the captives and for those who are in debt and for those that are in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's cause the Mujahideen that are fighting in the holy battles and for the wayfarer a traveler who is cut off from everything and a duty imposed by Allah this is a duty faridatan min Allah this is imposed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the all knower and the all wise so here my beloved brothers and sisters in Islam there are eight categories of people who zakah can be given to the first and the second category they are the fuqara and the masakin the poor and the needy so the zakah should be given to them so that they may meet their needs a common question that always comes up is what is the difference between a faqir someone that or those that are the fuqara and the masakin the fuqara the difference yani, between the poor and the needy the fuqara the poor are in greater need one of them cannot find enough to suffice himself and his dependents for half a year the masakin they are a bit better than the fuqara because they can find half of what will suffice them or more these people should be given zakah because of their need a question that many people ask how can I or how can we evaluate the need the scholars they have explained and they've said they should be given what they need to suffice them and their families for an entire year because when the year has passed zakah will become due again just as the year is the unit of time by which zakah becomes due so too the year should be the unit of time by which the poor and needy who are entitled to zakah should be given the zakah and Allah knows best and this my beloved brothers and sisters in Islam is a good view we should give the poor and a needy person that will suffice him and his family for a full year whether we give it to them at the start or of any month but all we need to realize that this money should be sufficient for them for one year and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best so inshallah in tomorrow's session day number 18 we will continue with part two of zakah and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك أشهد أن لا إله إلا أستغفرك وأتوب إليك السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته أيها الذين آمنوا كتب عليكم الصيام كما كتب على الذين من قبلكم لعلكم تتقون